There are times when my diary really eats into my day and I end up gobbling down a quick snack without even tasting what I'm eating. This is definitely not a recipe for healthy eating, so let's slow things down as Zainab and Fatima Parak prepare some delicious moments of happiness. Hey everyone, welcome back. We are the Chili Chocolate Chefs and it's our mission to inspire moments of happiness through exquisite cuisine. Cooking should be fun and stress-free and today's menu is just that. We have a herb coriander rice served with a cucumber and pomegranate dip, a caramelized pineapple salad and brinjal rolls. This menu will definitely keep your friends and family happy. So let's get started and have some fun. I'll get started with the rice and if you can start with the dip. Perfect. So to start, we will slice the cucumber in half. We will be de-seeding the cucumber as well, just so that you don't have extra moisture into your dip. Just both sides so that it's easy for us to just remove the seeds. And I will just cube that now into little dices. It's always important when you're using yogurt to use a good quality yogurt because it makes a huge difference to your dip. Better still, you can even make your own yogurt if you have the time because that will be amazing. Now for the mint, we're just going to finely chop it so they're nice and thin. To start, we'll add in the shallot, pomegranate, pistachio, our cucumber, the finely sliced mint leaves, and two pinches of salt. We'll then mix it all together so it's all nicely well incorporated. Just a light toss actually will be perfect. And I'm going to now decant it into my serving dish. And drizzling over some olive oil. We'll then top it with some pomegranate, a bit of the pistachios, and some of my nice mint leaves. And that's it, that's done. For the coriander rice, we're going to start off with our water mix. I'm gonna put in some dania. A little bit more, then a teaspoon of garlic. Then let's get some lemon. We're going to slice the lemon and squeeze out all the juice from that lemon. You want to get as much flavor out as possible. And then you're going to add two cups of water. Okay, now we're ready to liquidize this. Okay, so that's perfect. Okay, let the fun begin. Let's put our stove on high. We're going to start with mustard seeds and a pinch of coriander seeds. You want to let this dry roast so you get lovely aroma. So you're going to leave this for about two or three minutes. Next, we're going to add in our oil. And next, we're going to add in the butter. And it's time to add in the rice. So put it back on the heat, make sure that the rice is fully coated, and then we add in our coriander water. Let's put this back on the heat and give it a good stir. We're gonna leave this to simmer for 15 to 20 minutes on low heat, and we're gonna start with our pineapple salad. So I'm going to be making a really fun salad which has all your tropical flavors in it. So we have pineapple and we're complementing it with the sweet mint dip. I'll start by slicing my pineapple into nice thick rounds and then into half. Pop it into my mixing bowl, adding my brown sugar and olive oil. You need to massage the pineapples quite nicely with the brown sugar and the olive oil. So it coats the pineapple and you're getting that nice caramelized flavor once you toast it. Zena, can you just caramelize these pineapples for me while I prepare the dip? Sure. So I'm going to add a bit of oil so it doesn't stick. Your pan must be really hot. And let's place our pineapple. For the dip, I'm going to add in some finely chopped mint leaves, icing sugar, finely chopped lime zest, and a pinch of salt and black pepper. Just a light stir. These are ready for plating. I'm gonna take these 
and put them straight onto our lettuce leaves, very gently. And a nice sprinkle of chili flakes. Crumble over some Danish feta. And now just to garnish it with some scattered chives. I'm just topping it with our sweet mint dip. Let's have a look at our rice. Oh wow, you can get that rich coriander flavor. I just need to add a little bit of salt, some crushed black pepper. This smells delicious. A final touch of some lemon. Let's give it a mix. Let's plate this. This is our nut topping with some curry leaves, mustard seeds. For the brinjal rolls, I'm starting with the stuffing. I'm adding some sesame seeds, methi seeds, paprika, crushed garlic, toasted pecanuts, and coriander. You need to mix the items quite nicely together and mash it with your hands, because if there are any big pieces in the nuts, you can always break them up so you have a nice stuffing for the brinjal. And this is perfect. To slice the brinjal, I'm going to remove the ends and then cut the brinjal lengthways. You need to make sure you have nice thin and long pieces of your brinjal. Then, can you just griddle the brinjals for me, please? Sure. Take the brinjal, lightly brush it with some olive oil on both sides and then we're going to fry it on high heat till it's golden. I actually like to pan fry it only because it's a lot more healthier. Keep turning it over so you get lovely marks and color on it. And let's take it out. So these are perfectly griddled and I'm ready to stuff them. I'm placing a teaspoon of my stuffing in the center of the brindle and then start from one end and just gently roll it all the way to the bottom. You need to be quite tight when you're rolling because you don't want your brindle rolls to unravel. And there you have it. Perfect little brinjal roll. Lastly, we need to top it with some seasoned yogurt. Make sure you season your yogurt properly with some crushed black pepper and salt. And we just gently dollop those over your rolls. And we then top it with pomegranate rubies. Now this brings in a lovely fresh hint of color to the dish and it just finishes it off perfectly. So this is our take on a fun, delicious and easy to prepare meal. We hope you have as much fun as we did preparing these for yourselves at home. This is a menu that's guaranteed to bring a smile with every mouthful. And what's more, vegetarians will be happy to tuck in as long as they've ticked the box Mount Dairy.